Yeah, back. You were away for a while. It's a bit warm in here. You missed me? Yes, I did. As much as you missed me after you dumped me. Eldred, come on, please. Please don't create another scene. Please, just please stop it. But why not? I love scenes. I mean, I've lived with it and developed a taste for it. I just can't do without them. Mildred, you can just forget about everything and just start all over me. I mean, make it work. Just be strong. What is that? You know, you weren't around and I... Uh, I, went, I... Oh no, poor Tyrone. I'd better change your diaper. <laughs> Hey, you're looking sweet. Mildred, your compliments give me bad luck. I'd rather you don't say them at all. Um. Um. Please, how do you want your tea? Piping hot or lukewarm? Since when did you start asking me how I wanted my tea? Since when? You know what? I'm not gonna drink the tea anymore. And I don't want to see you cooking in this house anymore. The next time I see you cooking, you'll be in trouble. After all, you're not good at it. Why don't you go back to your first job? Waiting tables. Tyron, I was never a waiter. I was a dancer in the nightclub. I only served you that drink because there were no waiters around. Did you ask me to know to take That's the way to drop. No, Jeff. None of them is here right now. Please do this for me, please. Sit <laughs> You've changed a little. The night we shall never forget. forget. The night we shall... Baby, you're welcome. In a typical Akan tradition, you wait to be greeted, and then you respond. Do you understand? I'm sorry. Your slogan. Where is my food? Honey, 
You specifically told me not to cook. Expect me to eat it after wasting my time? I'm sorry. Next time I hear you say I'm sorry again, you will be sorry. Go get my food. Huh? You're the guest room. Why? Tyron, why are you doing this to me? Since when did I start sleeping in the guest room? Look, I'm really, really tired. I need to sleep. I need long hours of sleep. I can't stand you waking me up every three minutes and ask me to stop snoring. I'm not calling. I'm still talking. Use a guest room. Mm. I'd much rather go there. I'm on a roller coaster ride. That's what happened. You put something slippery on the floor, so I fall, didn't you? Tyron, I just finished moping here. Why would I intentionally pour water on the floor just to make you fall to him? Oh, shut up! Get my bag. Get my bag. Take your filthy hands off my bag. Oh. Don't. Lose my temper.
Mildred. Mildred. Hold up. Why do you think I'm going to hold up? Mildred. 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 Baby. Mildred. Oh my God, you're disturbing the neighborhood. What is wrong with you? Baby, I'm sorry, please. Haven't I wanted you to come to this house, baby, I'm okay? Sorry, oh, yeah. baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Please, I'm sorry. Haven't I'm, I wanted you to come I'm to sorry, this baby, house? I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Get out of my sight. I'm sorry, please. Get out of my sight. I'm sorry. Get out of my sight. Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. Baby, please. Baby. No, Jack. No, Jack. No, Jack. No, Jack. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Are you going to the salon today? I don't know, but I'm extremely tired. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here to pick you home. Just for you to have some rest. Um, let me get this straight. Mm. The last time I read about guys like you, mm. I realized that you never say never until you're buried in the pit, right? <laughs> well, and even in the pit, you know, we still struggle until the bones are out. Oh. Mm. You see? Yeah. Oh, good. See you later. Huh? You know, I'll shut the Yeah. Mm. I want to have a talk with you. Okay. I'm ready. No, in my room. Why? Can't just be here. Hey, this place is a bit too stuffy for me, okay? I... Tyron, you better say it here. Hey. Look, I'm not here to have an argument with you. I'm here to call you to my room to have a serious discussion. And it's really important to have this talk with you. Can we please go to my room? If you have anything for us to discuss, it better be here and now. sex you wanted, why didn't you do it in the guest room? <clears throat> you know, when I'm in the mood, I don't like talking a lot because it puts me out of the mood. So I really appreciate it if we did this in peace. This is the shirt I'm supposed to be wearing today. Why are you not washing it? Since when did you say washing my clothes with your bare hands? The laundry is not functioning. Since when? I told you last week, but you just refused to listen to me. 
But he told me the machine. I can't believe this. So, Tyron, if it's not food or sex, you don't even talk to me in this house. So how could I remind you of something that I told you, but you just refused to listen to? What has food or sex got to do with the price of eggs on the market? I'm talking about my blue shirt. I'm supposed to put this on today. You wash it and iron it and bring it to me now. <laughs> Next time you sit well and you don't keep it. Next time. But today, birthday. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my God! I don't remember telling you about my birthday. Well, you never told me about it. <clears throat> I read it in your diary. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What's it, Mark? I just thought I'll do it at home because it's more appropriate, and we'll get the chance to be together instead of somewhere else. Your love, it's um, bittersweet. I really don't know how to describe it. it makes my limbs weak. I love you, Taya. I love you. I thought about all these months I've been able to take the club out of you. Why? Well, it's not like you met me in a church or something. That's exactly my point, you see? So you're too tiny. I'm not too tiny. Tyrone, I'm not cheating on you. I love you. Oh, spare me all that. I saw the guy give you a goodbye kiss. Well, there's a difference between a kiss and a pet, Tyrone. Did you ask me? Well, I will never ask you. You know why? Because night after night at that godforsaken bar, every Tom, Dick, and Harry touches you, feels you, and kisses you at will. Tyrone, I'm a subtle pole dancer, and the least I can do is to be nice to the customers. Subtle pole dancer? No, subtle prostitution. What do you want me to do? I mean, what do you expect me to do? I don't cheat on you. I mean, that doesn't make me lose. Tyron, I'm not cheating on you. I've never cheated on you before, Tyron. I love you, for God's sake, I do. I can deny it all you want. I'm taking that. I just can't take the fact that my girl is walking at some bar. Now, if you cherish this relationship every inch as much as you say you do, quit the bloody job. Excuse me, you in the bathroom. Fine. If that makes you happy. Unless you tell me. <laughs> all right, all right. I miss you too, boo boo. I love you. I love you so, so much. Okay, bye. I'm just here that I I just wanted to tell you that I'm quitting my job, that's all. Is that supposed to be a joke or something? I'm damn serious, girl. Tyron, Tyron what? Mildred, I can't believe you're ready to do this. You heard me. Tyron doesn't really like this job of mine. And I'm gradually losing him because of this very job. See, Tyron met you doing this job. Had an affair with you and fell in love with you. If he genuinely loves you, he won't ask you to quit your job. My dear, Tyron genuinely loves me. And I'm so, so ready to trade my love for everything. Girlfriend, you're making a big mistake.
Mildred? How are you? I'm fine. Okay. That's your report. Congratulations. You are four weeks pregnant. Mildred has a the problem. Look, you can't confide in me. Oh. I don't think you will allow me to keep this child. You mean your husband is not going to take full responsibility of the pregnancy? He doesn't like babies. Does he suspect you are cheating on him? No, no. I, I mean, for the past one year that I've known him, I've not even spoken to any other man on the phone. Not for how long have you been married? Not yet. We are cohabiting. But I... I don't want to lose him or lose my baby. You see, madam, sometimes some men seem not to like children. But when it is yes, the result is always sufficient. Let's give it a try. No, my tired. Okay. Do you mind if I can arrange a counselor for him? I mean, to talk to him. No. He doesn't like big parties. I mean, that'll be the end of us, and I can't just afford to lose him. No. Let's talk to him in a polite manner. Let's speak to the heart. My dread of worship, you know, he'll understand. Hmm? I'll give it a try. That's good. Thank you very much. See you all. You are here. How are you feeling? Better. I love you. I love you too. Why are you crying? I've missed you. you had this already planned and I want you to swipe through these pictures okay I'm gonna have to probably swipe them for you because of your hand I want you to pick a place of your choice wherever you want all over the world just pick a place and picture just the two of us being together, blissful mood. Not for days or months or years, till infinity. Like we were before. Like the rainbow piercing through the parts of the glittering blue skies. Yes. I love you, Tyron. I love you too. Mr. Vivian Anda, Lego.
From a club dancer to a housewife was a total transformation in your life, and I hope you'll appreciate me for that. However, the cohabitation I had with you was the worst moment in my life, which I intend not to experience again, not even in hell. So the best thing to do is to leave this place for you, since I don't want you to feel bad that I've ejected you from my house. I'd rather choose to reject myself. I've had a dream come through by leaving this apartment and I know yours has also been fulfilled as well since all you expected was to inherit it in my absence in future if I died. Don't bother looking for me again because you will never find me anywhere in this city. Good morning, Mr. Atta. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Mesa. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you too? I'm okay. I'm oh, okay. thank God. How was your first night in here? Oh, splendid. I loved it. I loved it. And how is Mrs. Atta? She's still enjoying her sleep. She's still in bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> I can see you're already off to work. Yeah, I'll see you in the evening. All right. All Bye. Right. Bye. Oh, why will you stop behaving like a U-turn driver? Always to go the wrong direction. Come on, come on. Are you jealous? Is it because I never looked at you? Stop it. You will never will. Because you've had what you wanted in me.
Look at yourself, Arthur. You were so drunk. <laughs> What is the meaning Why of that? This? Stop it. I said stop. Stop it. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, um, Mr. Arthur. Yeah. Last night, I overheard a cry out in your room. Was everything all right? Oh, yes. Everything is fine. Actually, um, my wife and I were playing poker. Oh, okay. And she won. And I see. And that I was see. the excitement. Right. Yes. Have a nice day. So I'll see you. All right. Bye. 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 Good morning, Mrs. Arthur. Good morning, Mrs. Mensah. How are you? I'm doing good. Mrs. Arthur. Mrs. Mensah. What happened to you? Let me look. What happened? How bruises all over your temple? It's nothing, Mrs. Mensah. I just hid my face in the bed last night. It's, it's nothing really. I'm fine. No. Mrs. Arthur, this doesn't look like hitting your face on the bed. Huh? What happened? Talk to me. There's nothing. I'm fine. I just hit my face in the bed last night. Alright. See you around. Felicia! Felicia! Uh, yes! What was the bottle of whiskey I brought home last night? You finished it. I finished it. I finished it. How can I finish a bottle of whiskey in one night? Someone I need to make the other. You know I don't drink alcohol. You remember very well leaving almost half a bottle of whiskey on this dining table before going to bed. Now get me my whiskey. Arthur, look at yourself. You've already had enough alcohol already. No, did I hear you right? Are you the one to tell me how to drink? Huh? What is happening here? Why are you beating here? Can someone talk to me? Mrs. Mensah, there's, there's nothing wrong. We're just playing Milana. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. Milana? What kind of game is that? That makes you scream on top of your voice. What's that? Look at how the whole place is in a mess. Clothes here, glasses here, hats here. And you claim you are playing Milana. Continue with your game. Don't you dare touch me Why do you want him to kill you? Don't you love your life? Mrs. Mesa, there's, there's nothing wrong. I'm, I'm fine. You insist there is nothing wrong. And yet, you have bruises all over your face. You look terrified. Mrs. Mesa, I'm fine.
Why are you leaving? Yeah. Okay. So, um, we have a nice day. Yeah, welcome. Good morning. Uh, good, good morning, uh, Mrs. Mensa. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. How are you too? I'm okay. How yeah. is your wife? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Yeah, this for you. This what is this? I want you and your wife to vacate this apartment. I can't stay with you anymore. I can't. Uh, uh, Mrs. Mensa, have we done anything contrary to? The rules and regulations in this house. Mr. Asa, I can't continue to watch you beat your wife every night under the influence of alcohol. I won't allow you to kill her in my house and pretend nothing is going on. Please, um, I, I promise. I, I'm very sorry for the inconvenient cause. Please, I'm very, very sorry. I'm very sorry. It will never happen again. I'm very sorry it will never happen again. Please. Please, what happened last night should be the very last stroke. Oh, okay. The next time you fight your wife, I'll make sure you spend the rest of the day outside the house. Y yes, ma'am. I'm very sorry. It's okay. Yes. You may go. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Okay. My friend, better not this place very well. If that's a useless one you are singing this morning. Oh, my God, boy, Come on, my God. Come on, Come on, my God. Because once my will always be mine. You dare not flout the respect that you once had for me. You hear me? You are crazy. Yes, you're right. That got you close to me. That enticed you. In fact, that it was the bait that got you into my wife. Yeah, what is the meaning of this? Oh, I got I'm fine. Come on. Yeah, how many times have I warned you not to trim my flowers in this house? Oh, my, my friend, shut up! You don't talk when I talk. Look at the mess you've created in my house in the name of trimming flowers. Look, the next time you repeat this in my house again, I'll deal with you. Good day, Mrs. Mensa. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Salta. How are you doing? Oh, You're okay. fine. How are you? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Uh, hi. Hi. Are you both traveling? You no, know, we are going on a picnic with our friends. You both look good. Thank you. All right. Have a safe trip then. Thank you. So you have a nice day. Bye. Look, don't repeat this nonsense in my house anymore. Do you get it? Fool. I don't know why Mr. Mensa will send me another letter insisting that we vacate this premise. Because I remember talking to Mrs. Mensa that we weren't going to fight anymore. And she said, okay, fine. We should stay. You know, seriously, I'm, I'm really confused. Are you sure you spoke to her? I did. I remember when I was going to work and when she handed the letter to me, I told her that we weren't going to fight anymore. And she said, okay, fine. You have to talk to her because it's not easy to get an apartment. Please. I know, I know. All right, I'll be back. Hi, me? Me? Good morning. Morning. Mona. Hey. Um, good morning. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, me too, I'm good. So we are good together, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I see Mrs. Mensa? Oh, okay. See ya. Me? I mean, I want to talk to Mrs. Mensa. Hey, but you go by. You talk to one. Me? Ah! Oh, blame me, Can you call Mrs. Mensa? I want to talk to her. Can you call her phone? Why call you? You know how to talk. Can I talk to her? Can I talk to her? Why call you? Me? Yeah, tell her to talk to her. Like, seriously? Oh, oh, blame me. Come on, like, dog. 
Good morning, Mr. Atta. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Mensa. How are you? I'm not for you. I'm, I'm not inconvenient. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, please, I, I would like to have a word with you. Sure. Go ahead. Yes, yes. I just got another letter from your husband in insisting we vacate this house. Is anything the, the problem? Well, Mr. Atta, I spoke to my husband the other day concerning what has been happening in the house. And he insists... I shouldn't stay in the house with you anymore. But, Mrs. Mrs. Mesa, everything has been going on all right with us. I mean, everything has been fine for the past week. And I promise, I promise it will continue like this. Please, please. Mr. Atta, he won't understand. He will not. He's already given me reasons why I shouldn't stay in the house with you. I'm sorry. Well, um, Mrs. Mesa, well, all right. I guess it's time to let the, the, the cat out of the bag. What's that? Actually... What? Uh, Fel Felicia and I are not married. I, actually, we are not couples. We, we are not husband and wife. What? Yes, she, she is the cause of all this this troubles. Mr. Atta, why are you denouncing your wife just because you want to maintain the apartment? Why? Uh, I'm not, but... Well, I, I have my wife and kids back, back in the village, in, in Bronga Hafu. So why then did you tell me she is your wife when you came for the apartment? Well, I guess I lied to you. But I, I promise I'll let her go by next week. By next week she will go. She's, she's the cause of all this, this trouble. And I'll let her go. In fact, I'll let her go by tomorrow evening. By tomorrow evening, I'll let her go. I'm really disappointed in you. Seriously. <laughs> well... If you say so, I'll be looking forward to that. Thank you, thank you. But please keep to your promise. I will, I will, I, I promise. I'll let him go by tomorrow evening. That's all right. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah enjoy it. Man, man. Hey, go monu, the man I desire. If you saw where man the treat woman, you this girl no be your girl. Oh, I will love fill up in my mind, man. That's why girls talk say men are wicked, men vampire. Me must only then God will make me man and woman. That's why me have been man for ye, woman for ye. How are you? I'm fine. You are fine? Yeah, how are you doing? I am doing fine. What's wrong with you? You have something on your mind, right? Me? A lot of things in my mind is a lot, but yours, it be here, they can't tell you. Uh huh. Is this Atta? Yes, Mr. Atta, he won't cast you off. Mr. Atta, they tell me, this man say, you go tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Wait, are you sure he told Mrs. Mensa that? Ah, oh, well, that's uh, uh, Yes. Uh, is it true that you are not legally married to that man? Hey, where are you going? The Dan or Cassa join on the Pumeme Pumeme. Oh, wow. That's it. If they tell the woman for this, you'll be the cause of all the problems if you have for this house. He said you'll be low class. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be villager, you'll be poorest. Ah, see, he talk worse that thing than this. But I'm mean, telling you the shallow ones. Shallow ones and look up where. Come on, find girl. See, that guy, he get three children. He get wife. Well, the second day matter. I'm telling you. Come on, find girl. Oh. Wow. Oh, why? Your fourth. Eh? You know, I just 
Go. Mm. I said go. Okay. See, I I feel like we're going to go. Mm. Kent, the agent told us that you only rent the apartment house to couples. That is why he insisted we live together. And I really thought wedlock would keep a couple together. Cohabitation is not good for both of you, and you know it. You know, Mrs. Mensa, I have always wished you change. But he's not your husband. He's another woman's. So why don't you leave him and move on with your life? Felicia, you're still a very young, pretty lady. And I believe there are a thousand and one men out there who would do anything to have you as a wife. So please, let him go. I can't. I can't leave Arthur, Mrs. Mensa. Why not? I love him. He's my life. Are you listening to yourself? For how long do you hope for a better life with him? Just look at yourself. Bruises all over your face. Unless, of course, you want to tell me you enjoy the beatings he's been giving to you. Arthur is not worth it. Let him go. Please. You know what? I can sacrifice something else for his love. But I can't leave Arthur. I just can't fathom why you made the same fate as your late mother. Felicia, she was such a pretty young lady, full of life, but very unlucky. Life is unfair. I love Tyrone, and I still do. I know. You're really a true replica of your mother. After all that your father did to her, she never stopped loving him. Even when she killed him, she still said, Arthur, my husband, though she was not married to him. I can't share the same face with my mom. I can't kill Tyrone. I can't. I'm not asking you to kill Tyrone Mildred. I'm not. All I need from you is to move on with your life. You need to move forward. I wish I could. You can. You know, there is only one thing that can create a scar in a woman's heart. This thing for me to sit for very poisonous than that of a cobra. It kills slowly, Mildred, and painfully too. After all, you did not vow a love for Filter to him. So please, let him go. And move on with your life. You need to. I did. Die. I know it's madness to say, but that's all I can do for now. I love him. Yeah. You know, that is what you can say for now. But until you put the pieces together and stitch the wound in your heart and perhaps smoothen the scars, it's going to live in your brain. 
Is it not the same man who ask you not to look for him? The young man is gone, moving on with his life. You need to do the same, Mildred. As you can see, I'm not going any more younger. Age is really catching up on me. You can't stay here for some time. Distance, they say. Hell wants. Posterity has nothing for me here. I can't stay here. It does, my dear. Of all this time, the words I remember most from your mother, when my aunt still lives. That was when she threw up in the night. Felicia, I hope you were born. She really, really hoped you were a boy. But what can she do? I respect. We all miss her. We do. Did she die because I was a girl? No. Oh. The love she had for my dad killed her. How? Oh. But she breastfed you. Once. That was the same day. Felicia joined your father. Arthur. In the ancestral world. She loved you, Mildred. She loved you. And I became the weak guardian. A bad old woman. No. You're not, Auntie. You did your best by making me a virtuous woman. But I was blinded by love. All right, my dear. It's okay, you don't have to cry. He's gone. And you need to go on it. Make us like Michael Jackson, make you a lion like Samson. Speak them up like Ben Johnson, me rude like Bobby Jang Marlin. Mildred! Mildred! Jane! You still look good. Yeah, I'm coping, but um, you don't look like your old self. Is anything the matter? I mean, you don't expect the Mildred you cheated on to still look good, right? Well, I wanted a second chance, but you never allowed me. It's okay. That's not a topic for now. Anyway, I, I will see you some other time, okay? Come on, you don't say a weak goodbye to our next lover. At least let me just drop you wherever you're going. Huh? Jay, I'll be fine. Come on, I insist. Oh, you, your mother is gonna worry about you. As a new phrase, your banana banana. You speak me mind, you never can and gonna. You tell me, my say, but we are only gonna come bada. Sometimes you come time, be bada. Yeah, it's a child, my cat. That's why everybody like my team, like my team, like my team. Like my team. See, see, everybody like my team, like my team, like my team. Everybody like my team, like my team, like my team. See, see, everybody like my team, like. Yeah, so um, please make sure you give me a call. Yeah. I don't have enough credits to call you. Don't worry, I'll buy you some credits through Ghana at time. Yeah, when I get to London. Okay. Okay. I'll respect your call. Alright. Take care, baby. I'm not your baby.
Yo, Tyron, Tyron, Tyron. Charlie. Yo, what happened, bro? Okay, long time. What's going on? Long time, long time. Charlie. I did set up. You will be come around? Sorry, I'm okay. Alright, no problem, no problem, no problem. What's going on? I'm at the bar, man. It started early today. Okay, you know what? Make I just finish with my video, eh? Then go home, take my shower, and then meet you up, yeah? Alright, uh, you're shooting now, but can you come around? Thank you for the morning, eight. Shall I be there on time, or? Look, I'll be there on time as well. Look, man, there's nothing like doing me, okay? I'm already here. Yeah, this thing is interesting, I. I just need a little coffee. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Right. See ya. Alright, Charlie. Young boy. Down. 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 Why? Get up, get up. James. Accidents. How's it going? Hey! Hey! What in heavens? You didn't kill yourself. What for? I was dead already. I'm sure you were. You look great anyway. Thank you. I'm feeling great. So, what have you been up to? Working in the park. Waiting tables? Yeah. So the manager saw me and placed me back on the floor show. That was very kind of him. Yeah. Very, very kind of him, you know. He almost restored my faith in human nature. Almost? Yeah. He did. Until I remembered you. <laughs> so what? You came to visit someone in the hospital? No. Nope. <laughs> well, I heard about your country town and... I decided to pay you a visit, you know. Maybe if you needed something. Um, I, I don't think you can be <clears throat> leaning on that. Oh. Make it, yeah. Sorry. And about what I need. <clears throat> hey. I need you to get the hell out of my life. I don't want to ever see you again anywhere close to me. Did you get that? I can see you still haven't lost your charisma. The tiger never loses his charisma, even in the midst of chaos. Get that through your head. I don't even want to see you in the next life. 
I hear. I mean, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry to bother you. That's okay. I'll pray for you. Just stay safe. All right. Goodbye. Sorry to bother you. Take care of yourself. Okay. Um, do you remember my strip dance? What? My strip dance. Do you? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Just shut up. Shut You're up. mad. Shut up. I thought I forgot to lunch. I'll see the girl in one. Hey. I hope I'm not contemplating your presence here. Why? Do you see me in your dreams? Seeing you in my dreams is a nightmare, Mildred. What do you want here? Well, you're discharged. I know that. But I've got news for you. A good one and a bad one. You're paralyzed from your waist down. I already know that. So was the good news? That's the good news. And what's the bad news? I'm gonna take care of you. You're gonna stay with me? Yes. Thank you. Get up. Glory be to God the Almighty for this amazing day. Blessed is a man who finds a virtuous wife. For this day, he brings to this home the joy that God put into the Garden of Eden. Beautiful. Thank you. Iron. Take the hand and say these words after me. I, I, Tyron Ifa, take, take you, Mildred Champong, as my lovely wedded wife to love and to cherish in sickness and in health for richer for poorer till death do us part you may put the ring on her finger Mildred Man of God in all things. Mildred, you have to see Shh. each other. In all things, I will take Tyron as my husband. Till death do us part. Tyron, I love you. I love you so much. I love you with all my heart. I love you with everything in me. I really do. By the power invested in me, by the Almighty, I pronounce you as one. Funny, you would have been good with kids, you know? Well, who knows? Sure, you never will. It's not like I don't like children. I've always loved kids. I mean, I always wanted to have kids on my own. I just didn't feel worthy of it at the time. I thought I... It's not too late. You can always have children. Anyway, I'm sex-free these days. 
What did you say? You heard me, Tyron. That worthy abortion you kindly paid for. You never told me. Yeah, because you were not around. You left me. You ran away. You look, I hate myself so much right now. I despise everything I do. I mean, I no, hate no, myself no, more no, than no, you can ever no, hate. No, Tyron, you don't. Don't wait on yourself, Tyron. No one could ever hate you as much as I do. So what are you doing here? Why are you staying with me? <laughs> you don't know? You really don't know? Because you are more precious to me. More precious to me than ever before. Hello? Yeah? Are you there? Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. Mildred! BK is sleeping in my couch. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm good, I'm fine. Mildred! Yeah. I have to see the doctor. Why for? I thought you said the injection was finished. The injection is having no effect on your condition, Tyrone. That was the doctor's instruction. Well, your present condition is permanent. You aren't going to walk again. <laughs> Mildred, what are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to the living room. Well, I thought you were taking me out. You want to come? Find your way. Mildred! You want to eat? Why are you shedding tears? Hey. Okay. There's no food for you, Dad. I'm not shedding tears. I guess I'm just more tree, that's all. There's no difference. Tyrone. I want to see a smile on your face. Else I'll take the food back to the kitchen. See? Tears of joy. Tears of what? Don't fool me, Tyron. Come on, I can't fool you. Then what about that smile on your face then? It's your love, Mildred. My love. Do you think I love you? Of course you do. 
You try to be a good wife with that. My wife. There's no good wife that you will. Okay. You can have the foot. No, oh, just have it. You don't even deserve it, forget it. I think you don't even even deserve that. Okay, um, let me get you a drink. Alright, okay. baby. Bye. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. Where are you? I'm in the pub. You're still in the pub. I'm in front of the pub. I see you in the scar. I'm right beside you, and you're still in the pub, aren't you? Just lock the door. I know my guy is going to get very, very violent. He's going to get very, very, very violent. Oh, lock the door. Sure. I know him. He's crazy. It's not baby. Oh my God. You open the door. I hey, told you. What's up? I told you, this guy is violence. Close the door. No, he's about to do something sure? crazy. Yes? Relax, relax. Ah! Oh! Oh! What the hell? Oh! Hey. Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 Do you know that is my wife? Yes. And I know there are certain things you are not capable of doing, so that's why I'm here to enter the net. What? Um. Okay, right? Uh huh. You always want to I love this one, Jason. Oh, 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 I'm tired of moving up and down because of your nasty mood. Tyler, are
Hey, Tyro. Hey, come and eat. Aren't you eating? No, I'm going out. Mildred. Mm hmm. Is that all? What? No, I mean, uh, it's plain rice. No stew or meat or vegetables or something. You would like some vegetables? Okay. Go to the kitchen. There are lots in the fridge. Oh, yeah, I... I'm his nurse. He's not available at the moment. I know. Very sad. Um, he's completely incapacitated. Yeah, I'll let him know. You're welcome. Goodbye. I am available. Oh. Who is it? You heard? Get it like it's out. Clement? Clement is in town? Milton, you should have given me the phone to talk to him. I've been wanting to talk to him. What did he say? What did he say? How would I know? How do you know? You just spoke to him. Come on, Mildred. I've been wanting to talk to him. You should have just given me the phone. To I talk. heard you. Look, I never get to talk to anyone or even see anyone again. I feel like I'm in solitary. Is it? Mildred, you have sympathy? I mean, can't you? Look, I'm really sorry for everything I did. I, 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 forgive me for everything. I treated you like a monster. I know, but... Tyrone! You don't have the right to criticize yourself. It is my privilege. I know. I earned it. Mildred, I promise you. I promise you, I promise heavens, I'm never going to hurt you again. <laughs> oh my god, this guy, you're making my day today. <laughs> no, don't make me laugh, please. What did you just say? You won't hurt me? I mean, how? Very funny. How are you going to do that? Like you can walk? You run away like you used to? <laughs> oh my. I didn't mean it that way. It's ever, ever in your life say that again. Because if you do, Rather hate you. Do you understand? I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Good. And don't leave the plate too much when I'm gone. There's no point. What are you doing, Mildred? It's raining. What are you calling? Mildred! What? No! Mildred! Ow! Mildred! This get over just end for life. Mildred. Mildred.
surprise. Today is your birthday, isn't it? I didn't remember. I didn't know you still have a soft spot for me. Tyron, I will always be there for you. Always. Paralyzed from your waist down. You had me, Tyron. That worthy abortion you kindly paid for. Left me perfection. You never told me. Yeah? Yeah. Because you were not about you. You left me. You ran away. You know, I hate myself so much, my girl. Despite everything, I hate myself more than you.